Hello, and welcome to Beanworks University. Today we'll be looking at how to create an invoice. To begin, you'll need to open up Beanworks in your web browser and log in with your username and password. So here we are inside of the software. Your view may look slightly different from this training video because your login has been configured based on the types of activities you do. For example, if you're an invoice creator and coder, you likely will not have the approval tab. So before we show you how to create an invoice, I want to explain how invoices get into Beanworks. We recommend setting up an email address on your server that is used only for vendors to send you their invoices by email. For example, invoices at yourcompany.com. Then you will auto-forward that email address to a specific Beanworks email address associated with the user you want invoices to be sent to first within Beanworks. This is likely the person responsible for processing invoices within your accounting department today. For maximum flexibility, each user in Beanworks automatically gets assigned a unique email address that can be used to email invoices to. So while you may normally have invoices sent into your invoice email address, users are also able to email invoices to themselves or to other users by using the Beanworks email addresses. By clicking on the cog in the upper right corner and then choosing My Profile, you'll be able to view your Beanworks email addresses. In your profile, you can see you have two auto-populated email addresses, the auto-capture email address and the manual capture email address. If an invoice is sent to the auto-capture email address, it will sit in a queue to be partially coded overnight. We will add the vendor, PO number, invoice number, date, due date, subtotal, taxes, and total. If an invoice is sent to the manual capture email address, it will stay in a separate queue for you to go in and completely code yourself. Okay, now that we have explained the primary way invoices get into Beanworks, let's show you how they appear in Beanworks. So yesterday I sent in invoices, some to my manual and some to my auto capture Beanworks email address. You can see that in the Create tab, the ones sent to the manual capture addresses are sitting in the Create tab. For the invoices I sent into the auto capture email address, they have been partially coded and are sitting in the In Progress tab in New Status. I'll explain some more of the functionality available to you in the Progress tab in another lesson. But first, let's upload an invoice into the Create tab, which is another way invoices can be added to Beanworks. To upload invoices to Beanworks, you simply select the Upload option. From here, there are two ways to add invoices. You can either drag and drop from your desktop into this area, or you can use the Add Files button and navigate to where they're located on your computer and select and open. It's important to note that each file you upload is treated as a separate invoice. For example, if you upload four separate files, it will create four separate invoices. I'll show you how to merge and split invoices a little later. This is a good time to mention that invoices should also be emailed in one file per invoice for maximum efficiency. OK, once you're happy that you have all the files needed, select Upload, and after a brief moment, the dialog box will disappear, and your files will have been uploaded into Beanworks. To view what you've just uploaded, you'll need to click on the invoices from the list on the left side of the screen. Using the View dropdown, if you select All, you can see both the invoices waiting for auto capture that have been sent in that day, and the ones for you to process manually, which are in the status of Manual Capture. At any time, you can change how the invoices will be processed by changing the type on the individual invoice row, or by selecting multiple rows and using the Actions dropdown. Just a reminder that invoices set to Type Auto Capture will be processed automatically by Beanworks that evening and will appear on your In Progress tab the next day. Invoices set to a Manual Capture need to be completed by you. Select the invoices you want to work on using the checkboxes so that they appear on the workspace grid on the right side. You can get a closer look at the invoices by clicking on the little magnifying glass icon. The zoom slider allows you to change the size of the invoices you're displaying on the workspace so you can see them more clearly. If you click on a single page, it will have a blue border, and whatever image action you do will apply just to that page. You can hold down the control button while you click with your mouse to select multiple pages, so the action you do applies to all the selected pages. If you select the row of an invoice, not just a page, all the pages of that invoice will become selected, and the image actions will apply to the entire invoice. Again, if you hold down control while you click with your mouse, 
you can select multiple invoices to do an action to all of the selected invoices. If you need to change the orientation of a page, you can use the Rotate option to rotate the image right or left. To delete invoices or invoice pages, click the trash icon. You can move pages around by clicking and dragging them to where you would like them to be so the pages are in the correct order. If you drop one or more pages into the blank row at the bottom, it will turn those pages into a new invoice for cases when multiple invoices may have been in one PDF file. If you need to split a set of pages into multiple invoices so that each page is its own invoice, select the pages or rows you want to split and press the Split button. As you can see on the left, this has created multiple invoices, one for each page you selected before splitting. To merge multiple pages into one invoice, select them and select the Merge button. As you can see, this has merged the pages back together into one single invoice. If you make a change you're not happy with, use the Reset button to reset any changes since your last save. Once you're finished making all your changes, it's very important that you press the Save button to keep your changes. If you don't press Save, your changes may be lost. Once you're happy with your invoice rows, you'll need to select Create Invoice for any invoices you want to complete yourself. This will bring you to the coding step in creating an invoice. So that's as far as we'll go in this training session. Thank you for taking the time to watch this training lesson. If you have any questions, please contact Beanworks Support by emailing support at beanworks.com.